Today at Class, I am reviewing the Me Creator 2 3D printer. This is a GTEC or Giant Arm brand printer, and you can actually get these for under $450 shipped with two day prime shipping on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the video description below. That is pretty cool. It used to be you used to have to spend a couple thousand dollars on a good 3D printer, or you had to go out and source all kinds of parts and you know build one yourself based on uh, you know, open source kits and designs. Now you can just go out, you know, spend less than a paycheck on a 3D printer and it's going to be a good solid 3D printer. And the Me Creator 2 is one of the more feature packed 3D printers that I have seen. You get a front facing PID output display here with full manual control. You can actually heat the bed, change the position, you can actually do everything with this knob and button here. But right now it's outputting our bed temperature, our extruder temperature, and you can actually control the feed rate on the fly. And it does have an SD card input, so you can just throw your G-code on a card, pop it in there, and do uh, printing without a computer next to the printer, which is pretty cool. You can do the same thing with like OctoPrint and all that, but uh, the fact that you can throw it on uh, an SD card and have like a part that you do over and over again print for you without the computer is really cool. It is a cube-shaped design. Everything is very solid in there. The way they machined the rods and the gears in there. Everything is right where it needs to be and it stays where it needs to be. You don't have to do a lot of fussing and adjusting all the time. It is a single extruder uh, printer, which most of them are, meaning you have one color. If you want like a, a, a two color or a three color printer, you're going to look at a, a Prusa or a Rostock printer. You can actually get those for not too much more on Amazon as well. I'll put links down, down in the video description for those as well. It is uh, cooled. The feeder is cooled, uh, which is a good thing. The new ones actually come with a little uh, part cooler on the side here, and they're actually sending me that. And that's one of the good things about GTEC and the Me Creator. They are constantly improving it. They're constantly improving the firmware, um, putting out new config files. Uh, they're there for customer support for their users. And it, uh, compared to the Me Creator 1, the Me Creator 2 is leagues apart. They have improved every everything tenfold. Uh, they moved the power supply down underneath the control board here. The, the control board, the power supply, cooling fans, all that is down in the base of the unit, which is really cool. Um, you don't have all, all these wires and stuff hanging around everywhere. And uh, there, there are only two things that kind of annoy me about this. They put one of the cooling fans right down here by the home position and you get the various strings like when it's at home position it, it's oozing out you get, you get little hairs and some of those hairs get sucked into that cooling fan um, I have had to pull some hairs out of there that's a minor gripe for a printer of this uh, quality there and the only other thing is on the heated aluminum bed here, uh, there are only three adjustment screws. I would like to see four. Uh, with three screws, you end up having to go around quite a few more times to level the bed. It, it, it just takes a little bit longer. With four screws, it would be a lot simpler. Three screws are just fine. I just, uh, you know, two pet peeves with uh, this product. Being that there are only two pet peeves, I have no problem recommending this printer. If you're just getting into 3D printing or you're looking for a single cutter color printer to do a lot of your base work. Uh, this is a good solid printer design. Uh, once you get everything dialed in, it works great. And I'm actually printing a part we make over at HHC Diesel. These are actually uh, nipple cups that go in the 6 liter diesel engine. And uh, this, this is actually the hardest thing I've printed. I have put probably over a kilogram worth of filament. All different colors, ABS, PLA through this thing. And uh, playing around with the settings, trying to come up with my own better config files, which I have. If you want to play around with some of my config files, I'm going to be doing a whole line of videos on this on YouTube. I'm going to do uh, feeding, the, feeding and changing the filament, uh, changing the settings, getting things just right for smaller and bigger parts. Um, I'm going to do a whole series of videos, so make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and check those out. But this one here was actually really challenging to get just right. The contour here at the bottom um, is actually really hard to get to print without errors. And uh, that's where learning how to control the software, learning what all the settings do, learning how to get in there and tweak things, and knowing how they are going to affect the finished part really comes into play. So there is a little bit of a learning curve on this or any 3D printer. Getting it set up initially and then using it and then uh, getting your parts to print just right are always a bit of a challenge. And that even gets changed switching between print, uh, brands and colors of filament. Um, be prepared to uh, have a little bit of a learning curve, but once you pass that learning curve, it's very fun and rewarding. 
And I've uh, been printing with this one for about three weeks for hours a day. I've printed so many little parts, doing one thing after another, changing settings here and there to get the best possible settings. And uh, i got to say, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, in terms of a 3D printer for under $500, um, it's a good deal. Um, I, I'm looking forward to getting my hands on the, the Prusa or the, you know, the row stock versions, you know, play around with multicolor filaments. Um, but as it is, this, you can't really go wrong with this one. The Me Creator 2 is a good base model 3D printer, and I recommend it to anyone looking for a 3D printer under $500. Um, everything about it is solid and good. They include a nice uh, laser cut acrylic uh, spool stand there. And uh, everything about it works pretty good. There is a, a light up here. You can't really see it because I'm using a supplemental LED light. Uh, but you turn that, that light on with a, a simple G-code command and uh, that light is sufficient. But if you really like to watch your layers and you're seeing how each layer gets affected, uh, you might want some supplemental light or you might want to add another LED light strip up in there. Um, so only two, two pet peeves. Um, other than that, it's a great printer. You could add on to it. You could close it in with the uh, plexiglass. You could do whatever you wanted. This is a nice open source RepRap based 3D printer. Um, with a solid cube metal design and uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a, a full thumbs up. I would fully recommend this product. Make sure you hit yes for found this review helpful. If you're watching on YouTube, hit a, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for those other videos on this printer.